Good. How are you? Good. How are you? Good, good. All right. So you're t just taking questions? Sure. All right. So um, I was just wondering, what does the Quran say about where man came from? Ooh, good question, man. So, um, Allah, the Creator, whether you know Him through many different names, the most merciful, most forgiving, whatever name you know Him through, He created mankind, first one being Adam, right? From Adam, He created Eve, and from them came mankind. But where did He make Adam from? From nothing. Allah made it as He did. But does right? the Surah say four different times that He made man from nothing, from clay, uh -huh. from mud, and from blood? No, because see, the first is that Allah, there was nothing. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose to, from nothing, I mean, there was nothing. Then He chose to get mud from all over the earth, right? From different types. So in the beginning, nothing. Then from that mud that was put together, then that was formed into clay, right? And then from a clinging clot, this, is, this has to do with regular humans, right? Meaning that regularly people are born from a, a water or a sperm that comes forth, right? Do you understand the difference or no? Okay, you know, so, do you understand though? So first created the mud. So first there was nothing, nothing, right? right. Meaning from nothing created from, mud, uh, then created from the mud the clay. Yes. And then from the that clay. Makes sense. Blood. blood clot is actually okay. about regular birth. This is about insan, not about Adam alayhi salam, but right? Doesn't the Surah say that uh, the Creator made man from blood? Man meaning man. Every, every person who's born is from a clot of blood, like the sperm that goes and becomes, you know, when it's, I don't want to get too graphic here, you young kids, right? But anyway, so one is the beginning of how mankind started with Adam, with Adam, and that is where you have first nothing and then mud, clay that's put together, formed into a, a human form, right? Into mud, from mud, but not like mud like from the dirt, dirt, right? Like just like, for example, we have gin that are made out of fire, but it doesn't mean like fire like the one you light on your uh, oven, right? This is the building block. From there, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made Adam as he was, meaning in a full form. He wasn't a little baby and things like this. But the Quran also talks about how people are regularly created, right? The stages of development in the womb from a clinging leech, right? People who don't know the Quran, they confuse those to mean that they think this is the same discussion, right? Meaning one is the original man. Because you look at the context of the verses, right? One is how regularly people are developed. And the clot of blood, this is for everybody. You understand now? Yeah. Alright, good. Did you refer to the clot as a leech? It, it, it leeches to the side of the womb, right? So it's a leeching thing. Not not a leech like a leech that, you know, you get okay. drinks your blood, but something that clings to the side of the womb. Is it considered a human? So it's a good question. Uh, I mean, we I think you're going down to the discussion about abortion and uh, abortion well, I, rights I and didn't things. Even yeah. Realize the thing about the clot. Uh, and when you right. said leech, I hear often leech. We believe that there are stages in the womb of the mother, right? And there is a stage that after a certain period of time, the soul is breathed into the into the fetus, right? From then on, that's a human being. But even before that, we don't believe you can abort without reason, unless there's danger to health or you know some kind of a an actual medical reason. That is the beginning of life, right? So, at what stage of development does? So we have stages. There are four stages. The f after the first stage, which is going to be around the first trimester, you're going to have the soul that's breathed into the into the fetus, and from then on, killing that would be as if it's murder, right? So, what, while it's still in the first stage, it's okay. It's not okay, as I said earlier. But it, it's not a human. But it's not a murder, right? Meaning that, for example, if somebody has a uh, medical any uh, hardship but it's not it's not like it's not going to be a, a life-threatening emergency but somebody uh, for example knows that if they get pregnant uh, the blood loss and things are going to be huge and they abort in the first trimester it's still wrong islamically but we would not charge them with murder but after the soul is breathed and that fetus has developed features and all of that then if you if you convert like uh, abortion it would be like murder right the same rulings would apply let me give you an example, right? Let's say a woman has just got pregnant, like last week, and somebody hits her with a car, right? Now, are you gonna charge them with manslaughter of one person or two, right? So here, Islamically, until the soul is breathed, it's still one person, right? Until the what? Until the soul is breathed into the fetus, right? So after that, then Islamically, they will be charged with two, right? Meaning, I mean, you can't take it back too far because otherwise, I mean, if somebody, you know, spills their sperm, it doesn't mean that they just killed somebody, right? Or, I don't know. Right? But there is a time after which the fetus will be considered a human being, right? 
I'm just curious. Uh, uh, like, what, what, like, specific verse is that? It's a hadith. You know what a hadith is? Uh, no. All right, hadith. Okay. The what? Where, like what where in the book is it? What book are you talking about? The hadith. Hadith is not one book. Right? Hadith are the sayings, sayings, sayings of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. We have many books like Bukhari, Abu Dawud, Ibn Bajah, Tirmidhi. Some hadith are authentic, some are weak. We check them for verification. So, what is the Injil, right? Injil is a name given to the message that was sent to Isa ibn Maryam. Okay, you know so Jesus? Yes. Yeah, the original message of Jesus is called the Injil. Okay, so those include the Gospels, right? No, because the Injil is the actual message given to the Prophet Jesus, right? The Gospels were written later, as you know, right? I mean, they're not, they're not the writings of Jesus or even the apostles around him, right? They're attributed to them, right? The Gospels, the ones that were written in the first century? Uh, they were not written in the first I mean, you know, the earliest Greek, you know about they were the... Written in the first century. How many manuscripts of the New Testament do we have from the first Christian century? None. Written in the first century. They were not. <laughs> so what is the earliest manuscripts? Um, they were about 30 years after so no, yeah. Have you read like Bart Ehrman or any kind of research on this? Actually, he's a New Testament scholar who does believe. Who? Uh, yeah, he's a New Testament scholar. Bart Ehrman? Bart, Bart Ehrman, yes. Okay, yeah. Um, after, though, uh, the actually the latest ones are attributed to uh, John, like Revelation. And so, so, like for example, he, for example, Hebrews, right? The book of Hebrews. Who wrote it? And we're not exactly sure, but it's Paul. Right, so, it might also so it's anonymous, actually, right? Because we don't know who wrote it. Could also be Paulos. Right. So but we don't actually the, know then, right? The, the other gospels, uh -huh. the actual gospels, we do know who the authors were, and that, for example, Paul writes that. 500 brothers are still living. Paul being Saul originally, right? What? Paul, he was originally named Saul, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. So meaning, but, but Paul also, never physically met Jesus, right? Only in a vision, right? Right, but he also was living at the same time with the apostles, and he was quoting okay. tweets that were... But they're not direct Jesus. writings of the apostles then? No, the direct and the, writings... And the earliest manuscripts that are... Okay, uh, Mark wrote Mark. Uh, yes. What language did he write it in? I think it was Greek. Um, so Mark Adam. spoke Greek, or did he speak Hebrew. Aramaic or Hebrew? I don't remember exactly which uh. one it was written in. Okay. But they were written during that time. So again, you're talking about attribution or talking about manuscripts? Manuscripts. So do you have a book? It's called Forgery in the Name of God. By Bart Ehrman? No, but I do have okay. other books uh, that sh show track the, basically the chain of custody. Show okay, so the happened. earliest Greek manuscript, that's the complete Gospels, is how old? About 30. No, it was, yeah. They were written 30 years. Yeah. Just how many manuscripts of the New Testament do we have from the first Christian century? None. From the decades after the books were written, how many do we have? The years afterwards, the decade, none, zero. How many do we have from the early second century? Say, manuscripts that clearly date up to around the year 150. We have one scrap. This is it. This may look big because it's a big screen. This is the actual size. It's the size of a credit card. Yeah, so the old sorry. Yeah. Oh, okay. Look so this up when you go home, okay? No, I know what. I know now right. like, where we're disagreeing. Okay. The oldest existing manuscript. Yeah, the one that we can older. prove, However, right? Can 400 years for the first that. complete manuscripts, right? We can look back to old church fathers who were quoting it before that. Sure, but those quotes are written. And find out that it was written earlier on. Okay. So we don't have so, older manuscripts, but we can find out when it was written. Okay, so you are apparently well read in the Bible, right? You guys are from yeah, a church group, I'm assuming? Okay. Oh, you are. Great. Let me ask you a couple of questions then. I have a Bible. So. Are you aware that Bart Ehrman agrees that the Gospels were written early by the Apostles? How many 
complete manuscripts do we have from the second and third centuries? None. Zero. Well, if we have 5,500 manuscripts, where are they from? When are they from? Well, 94% of our surviving manuscripts come from the 9th century and later. 94% come from the 9th century, which is great if you want to know what the Bible looked like when Christians were reading it in the year 890. But if you want to know how they were reading it in the year 70, you've got a problem because you don't have manuscripts from that period. I, I've actually listened to his lectures. I have a few of his books. Um, I have seen his research on the earliest manuscripts, Are right? You aware that he agrees yeah, no, no, but 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 he, he did not, right? From his book that I have published, that I have at home, that I can bring for you, he says that none of these can be attributed to actual disciples. These are Greek writings. Have you read his books? We do not have the originals of the New Testament. Period. We do not have the originals of the New Testament. Period. Okay. Well, next week we'll bring his books and take a look at them together. Then how's that? All right. Let me ask you about the Bible itself. Then, who's the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary? I don't remember. I could look in oh, the. Oh, it is. Do you want to read it? So Jacob. Jacob's the father of. Joseph. Who's the husband of Mary, right? Okay. Make sense? Sure. Okay. Here in Luke, who's the father of Joseph? Oh, this is two different genealogies. One okay. is tracking the biological okay. line. Where, where is that from? Mary, and the other is tracking the Where, where is Mary? Joseph. It says the son of Heli. Is Mary going to be the son or daughter? So, according to Jewish tradition, uh -huh. when Joseph married Mary, okay. he became a son. So, so it, okay. So then he was the son of So Jesus. that means the word son here means son in law. According to Jewish tradition. Okay. So that would mean that the same word here used for Matan is the son in law of Levi, the son of. Because you're not going to use the same word differently, right? It's translated as son, but it it's the same when Greek you look word, at the context, though. though. No, no, but the same Greek word is used throughout. So then I guess Adam is the son in law of God because the same word is used all the way through. No, you have to look at yeah, the context. I, I have the Greek of it, right? Do you have a Greek Bible? Yes. We do at home. So when you have the same Greek word used throughout, why did you change that? Where does it say this is? This has to do with him being the adopted son or the son-in-law? See, again... You look at you, the, you, you, the legal line for David. So, so the question here is, how did you get that? Meaning, because here it says, now Jesus began his ministry at the age of 30 years, being the supposed son of Joseph, the son of Heli, the son of Matat, the son of Levi, the son of Michli. They're all using the same word. So are you saying this word here, according to the context, is not referring to sons, but to son-in-laws? According to the context in the one spot, it is Where is that context? Son. Where did you get that context? That Eli is his, the Eli father is the father of Mary? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Eli is the father of Mary, biblically. That's what the context is saying. So, so Mary's father's name is what? Eli. You're sure about that? So if I can bring you historic documentation that it wasn't, then would you believe it's a clear contradiction? Historic, even the Catholic encyclopedia, for example, you may not be Catholic, but I'm saying here the father of Mary is not Eli, right? Historically. But you are reading that in, trying to put together a clear contradiction. Yeah, but okay. That's Jewish law in historical context. Okay. I, well, if you guys are in San Diego? No, oh. no we won't be here next week just okay. because we don't live here. So. Yeah. Isaiah was 42 years old when he became king and he reigned a year, one year in Jerusalem, right? Okay. How old was he? Did you? How old was he? Sorry. Okay. Isaiah was? 42. When he became king and he ruled one year. His mother's name is Athaliah, the granddaughter of Umri, right? Okay. Isaiah was 22 years old when he became king and he ruled one year in Jerusalem and his mother was Athaliah, the granddaughter of Umri. So was he 22 or 42? I'm not familiar with 
familiar with that one. So you guys don't have Bible studies and things? You don't study the Bible? Or? No, we do. Okay, so you didn't come across this verse before? No. Okay, but you want to take a... To, to get back to what I was talking about earlier, do you okay. believe that Jesus was a person? Was a... Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. And so the... Angel, wait, 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 can, I, can we... The, can we finish the... the can we finish the Bible stuff first, or? I mean, I just want to understand. Do, do you believe that these are contradictions here, or no? I'm not familiar with them, but. The but do you see a contradiction between 22 years old and 42 years old? No, because. You don't see a contradiction between 22 and so somebody can no, be 22 and 42, and rule one year. It could have been a different person. I'm not familiar. So with this, them, is, this, so this is this 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 is where I'm glad that the mother and grandfather. How many? Isaiah's ruled one year in Jerusalem that had a mother named Athaliah that was the grand that was the daughter of Umri, the king of there's only one. So just you can talk to me, you don't have to whisper to us. Like, but, but do you know there's more than one with the name There's more than one? Do you know do you know that there was only one? Yes. Only one? Like yes, sure. So, so, so look. No, can I see all the sword? Okay, I'll tell you what. Look, you know and I know that you're just trying to run from this, right? Because look, I know that the he, he is Ahaziah. So even when I'm showing you a clear contradiction numerically, you're just saying there's none. That, that's just blind faith, right? Right are here, no there's, the there are no contradictions in the Quran and we'll get to those. Oh, we got you. Don't, don't think you're the first one that came to us with this, but we'll get to that, okay? I, Isaiah, so let, let, me, let me just finish, right? But this is, I, I get to ask but, you but, Sure, but let me finish with this, and then we, when I speak, you listen. When you speak, I listen. How's that? But this is you actually interrupt this. Interrupt this. Okay, we can ask okay. you sure. But when I speak, you listen. When you speak, I listen. That's how respectful conversations oh, go on. Excellent. We, we have, we have so questions I, we wanted to Excellent. Do. We'll get to your questions. Let me finish, if you don't mind. So uh -huh. here you have Isaiah, who is 22 years old, you have his mother's name, Athaliah, who is the granddaughter of Umri. You really believe there are two Isaiahs who had the same mother? Okay, so that means the same. It's not the same, but it's not two. I have a question for you. Go ahead. No, no, you're going to skip over this, right? Go ahead. So I, I like to point out, she was actually trying to ask you questions. I understand. No, 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 I'm sorry. You asked a question. I explained your question. Sure. It's a conversation, right? So I'm going to ask. Sure, I am. I listen to your... Go ahead. Ask her a question. So according to... The Quran, there mm -hmm. is a previous book of Revelation, right? Yes. And so do you believe that the angel and the Psalms mm -hmm. are part of that? Okay. According, According to the Muslim... Would you like me to answer? Yeah, I just clarified okay. the question. Thank you. So we believe that the Injil was revealed to Jesus, peace and blessings be upon him. We believe Zabur was revealed to David, peace and blessings be upon him. We believe the Torah was revealed to Moses, peace and blessings be upon him. But we also believe that later, as the Quran says, people wrote with their own hands and attributed it to God. So that what we have today is not the Injil. Okay, sure, go ahead. So, did you get my answer? Yes. So okay, good. Are you aware that the Quran claims consistency with those books of the Bible? Okay, so let me explain that to you, right? The Quran in those verses says that those books that were revealed judge about them with the Quran. Meaning that which was changed, how would you know you judge with the Quran? Meaning true that those are the word of God though, right? So that which was revealed to Jesus was the word of God. But that so which men can I finish? <laughs> this is this. Let me finish my answer. You're right. So it was very simple answer. So I thought. I know, but but I wasn't done, right? So let well, me finish. Sorry. No problem. So when the Quran talks about that which was revealed to Jesus, it is not this, right? Because much of this is from unknown authors that wrote later, as we have discussed. Does You're talking your head. So Hebrews, who wrote Hebrews? Isn't it true that the, the book Quran? of Hebrews we have huh? uh, good evidence for either Paul? Hold on. Oh. This is your study Bible, I have a right? So have you heard of the Macau study isn't Bible? It true that the Quran can, says can I answer God's him? He, 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 he said something. Can I? Let me answer him, and I'll get to you. Actually, okay. I'm sorry, I didn't interrupt her. So. Isn't it true that the Quran says that God's word cannot be changed? The words of Allah cannot be changed, but somebody can write so, something. Can, can I finish? Somebody um, could write something. No, no, look, look, you are interrupting. Please let me let me finish my sentences and then you can speak. Let me finish speaking. 
The Quran says the words of Allah cannot be changed. But the Quran also says people can write and falsely attribute to God. So that which was revealed to Jesus was correct. But that which people wrote, anonymous authors, and attributed it to God, we don't believe the words of God. Are you clear now? Okay. So are okay. you that, that familiar with that? Or we can find out what the original writings were that were directly... Sure. So, so you do know, so you do agree then that we do know what the original words of God were of with this song? Well, we do not. We, let, me, let me explain this. What you have are accounts written later by authors, many of them being unknown, many of their authorship being disputed. I have a study Bible. You're, you're nodding your head, but I have it in front of you, right? So Here, can, you name any can I? Books sure. Let me. That is sure. Even, even even when we talk about Mark, we say that here he says he neither heard the Lord nor accompanied him. Are you this is in your study that? Bible. Are you familiar? Are you familiar with this? Yes, I'm okay. asking you. So Mark here, according to his Christian study Bible, never no, met Jesus. Author's footnote, right? MacArthur study Bible, yeah. Yes, and just Do you not also study? To clarify, okay. Mark was mm -hmm. with the group of apostles, so he did know the teaching. Okay. But also to get to John, but again, who was a disciple, he, never, he did know okay. Jesus. Do you agree Even, with what he wrote? Was? Sure, I do not, right? Let me explain why. Because if you look at the earliest manuscripts, like the Sinaiticus, this is from the fourth you century. Know what Jesus wrote? We do not. Original. Jesus never wrote any of these. So how these do you are know accounts. How, what do you know hold on, hold on. Do you know what he originally say? We what do not. Mean? We do not because these accounts that are in the New Testament today, the earliest manuscript, the Codex Sinaiticus, is from the fourth century. Right? Go look it up when you get home. This is. These are facts. We have was no writings. It was, it was, was in it Greek. Aramaic? It was not in Aramaic. It was in Koine Greek. The earliest manuscripts are in Koine Greek. None of them being in the original language of Jesus. Go ahead. Complete manuscripts? Complete man even, even even the earliest Even the earliest manuscript that you have the size of a credit card that only has a verse and a half, even that is 40 to 70 years after the time of Jesus. Nothing that can be caught. Go look it up at home. Research this. Have. You have not. When is Codex Sinaiticus from then? Right. So that means we cannot say this is definitely the what was revealed to Jesus, right? Right. But who made those copies? Anonymous authors. We don't know. We cannot rely on something that was written in a language. So let me. Let me ask you. Let me ask you a question. What language did Jesus speak to his followers in? He spoke Aramaic and Greek. Jesus did not speak to his people in Greek. Where did you get that from? The people of, of Israel at the time put to this area. Common Greek. Koine Greek, which is called Common Greek, was not the language spoken there. The language that was spoken, according to Bart Ehrman and anybody else that you can look from biblical skull, was Aramaic. Aramaic was the language. Hold on. I do believe he's an atheist. I'm not depending on him and his and belief set, but the research. Okay, are, let me. Are accurate. He does not. We do not have the originals of the New Testament, period. Oh, no. Have you watched his videos? <laughs> he has said you cannot. He has written books saying that these are not. I have those books. If you like. Can, can I see a copy? Sure. Yes. You want to come by my house or do you want to come back or when you want. You want to look up Forge in the Name of God. You can get it yourself. Have you read it? I have not read that particular book. I okay, well, what, what well book of Bart Ehrman have you read? Uh, I am not very familiar with the source myself, but mm -hmm. the rest of my family is. Okay. So I was just asking if you actually had a copy of I that, do have it, yeah. Sure. Right now? Well, I don't have it. I don't bring my whole library with me, but if you like. Okay, can I? Calm down, guy. Right? You want to go to my house and take a look at the book? Um, actually, we have, we have some other stuff to do today. So how would you expect me to bring the book to you from well, just thin air? That's, that's the only source that you that It's not the only source. I showed you from well, MacArthur's that's, that's study Bible as well. That's the only source that you actually okay. were bringing up supporting I'll tell you what. Let's, so let's look it up right, right now, right? Sure. But you quoted John MacArthur. Sure. You didn't quote the actual Bible. Sure, sure, but uh, the actual Bible doesn't say when this manuscript was written down or who were the authors, right? But you're quoting one man. A Christian apologist who's, who's an author, right? Is he, is MacArthur not a Christian? I'm not a huge John MacArthur fan. Okay, tell me why, that's interesting. 
So, is it your position that, or well, actually, just are you aware that at the beginning of many gospels, mm -hmm. or and many of the letters that Paul wrote, it actually says who the author is at the beginning of that? Which book are we talking about? Show me. Uh, if you just look at many of Paul's. Books. Well, here's the Bible. Awesome. Give me one second. And did you find the quote from? I'm sorry, I'm horrible with names. Uh, the man you were just mentioning. Bart Herman? Yes. Uh, I don't know. I'm not looking up a quote. There's a whole book he wrote on the subject. Well, if you like, could like I, see I that said. Quote from that book? Sure. If you'd like me to go with me to get the book. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't walk around with my whole library. You know, I have like a huge library at home, right? No, I just thought you were looking but, for. Well, I'm sorry. No, I was actually looking for the authorship of the Bible as has been discussed on the internet. But you can look it up as well. Now, if Are we look. Are you aware that the majority of even secular or atheist sources agree that the Gospels were dated to the first century, were written by disciples and other eyewitnesses? Where did you get that from? Um, a lot of sources. Like? Um, there are even Bart Ehrman quotes that I that So I the earliest writings that you have are from 70 AD, which is four decades after Jesus. History Channel research, right? Are you aware that like, the earliest uh, yeah. writings of Plato or Homer that are dated to around 1,000 years afterwards? Sure. Like I, don't, I don't depend on Plato and Homer for my salvation. Are you aware the Quran was written down in the lifetime of the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, and memorized during his lifetime? Actually, it was orally transmitted. It was not. So it was, it was like not. Like Actually, poems. it was not. Zayd ibn Harith, when he compiled the Quran in the first year after the death of the Prophet, one of the sources was two witnesses from written accounts. Did you know that? Actually, Apparently not. No, I <laughs> have you read what, what have you read in the Quranic sciences? What? what have you read I've in the Quranic sciences? Lectures, By uh, Christians. Um, <laughs> he is, he is, he was a Muslim. Who? Alan Schleiman. Who's that? What, what are his Islamic credentials? I'm not familiar with Islam. Yeah. So you you're talking to a a so, Christian who the told you about it? Right, okay. So, so Islamic scholarship is not dependent on apostates, right? Islamic scholarship has scholars. We have evidences. Do you know the book Al-Itqan? What? Al-Itqan, Fi Ulum Al-Quran, the standard book studied for Quranic sciences. No, because do you know Mus'haf Uthman? Kind of based off of the Quran we do not. We do not. You is assumed Quran, wrong. Isn't the Quran the ultimate authority, though? Of course it is. But when we write about manuscripts and compilation, we don't just depend on the Quran. We look at historic documentation. So is the Quran enough for you? Of course it's enough for us. But so when we study, when we study manuscripts, we don't look at the Quran to know how you carbon date a manuscript, right? Oh, so are you yeah. looking at carbon dating? Sure. That's one of the ways we look at it. We have carbon dated manuscripts to the lifetime of the Prophet ﷺ. Have you heard of the Birmingham Quran? The Birmingham Quran? Yeah. Well, Apparently you haven't done much research in it then. When you go back, look up the I Birmingham Quran. The, what the Quran says and not other... Right, but texts. when we were discussing the preservation of text, right? So when you talk about the earliest biblical manuscripts, even the size of a credit card being 70 AD, meaning 40 years after Jesus, but the first complete ones being in the fourth century, then that's telling you that this is not the words that were written down and preserved in the lifetime of Jesus. Peace and blessings be upon him. We love Jesus, right? But the Quran, see again, you're cutting me off. I'm, I'm like in the middle of a sentence. You cut me off. <laughs> I was not, I was in the middle. I was saying in the, wow, this is, man, I thought you guys would be taught better manners than this in church, but okay, go ahead. I'll let you interrupt me. Go ahead. If you want to have conversations with people, it would be good to take the sign away uh -huh. that says ask me questions sure. and not cough, cut off uh, our questions as well. Okay. So you can't you can't hold us to one standard that you're not willing to follow and I don't believe that we were rooted on that. When you're speaking, I listen and when I'm speaking, you're walking away. إذا أعجبك الفيديو لا تنسى الإعجاب والتعليق ولكي يصلك كل جديد اشترك الآن